Hello, hello, I'm the official name rater, and today we are going to judge and rate the names of the Caterpie Butterfree Metapod Evolutionary Line. Crazy Town is one you're probably going to see a fair amount. It's just a joke, we get it. They made a song back in like 2002. You're going to see a whole bunch of stupid things like toast and margarine or whatever, because it's butter, we get it, ha ha ha. Monarch is one that like, I don't necessarily think is bad. It's one where it's like, yeah, that's something. But the second you find something that's more creative, this one becomes disposable pretty easily. Moonwalker, I like as a name, but not for Butterfree, because I just think of I of Moon Raker from James Bond. I was like, oh, well, Moon Raker would be pretty good. So I'm just going to acknowledge this just for giving me the idea of a better nickname than what it was actually submitted. I mean, I guess we can acknowledge the Lunesta if you wanted to do that. I mean, it's about as good as naming your Pokemon Advil or Tylenol, but I suppose if that's your thing, it's there. Okay, so Happy is what Richie named his in the anime. Now, my personal thing is I took Happy and like put a tiny bit of a spin on it, not really that big of a deal, but like the personal one I use is called Happiness because it makes me think more of something like you'd find an enemy in Bayonetta, so it's like a combination of those two, but like Happy is not bad, I just think Happiness sounds better. Dazzle, I think, is a pretty, um, a pretty nice name. Or if you wanted to go ahead and just do Razzle Dazzle, I think that kind of works. Flutter, I keep getting stuck on because I'm trying to. I feel like I've heard there's like some character named Flutter or something. Like the best thing I could think of is like Flitter from Donkey Kong Country, but that's very clearly not it. So I'm not so sure. But Flutter, I don't know. Something about it is attracting to me. And then Glitter. I think I used that for something else. I don't actually remember, but glitter doesn't seem that foreign to me either. And then I guess if you wanted to do these, because, you know, happy, like, firstly, they didn't even straight up acknowledge that, that was Richie's, but, like, if you wanted to put it in a different direction and just named it Death or Chaos or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, butterfly effect. Yeah, I guess that could work for Chaos. But the thing with Spree, and maybe again, it's just because I'm a fat ass. But I just think of the candy spree, and I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, so this one I seriously like, and that's Silky. Like, that's just an overall really good name, and it makes me think of Silky from, I believe it's Wario Land 3 and Dr. Mario 64, so soft spot on that. I don't think it matters if it's shiny or not. I think it's applicable. I wish there was... I don't think there's a single Pokemon that does stay as a Caterpillar throughout its entire life cycle, so... It, is kind of a waste because Cater uh, Silky is meant to be like a, a worm caterpillar thing. So, like, it kind of sucks, but in general, I still think it's a super good name and one of my favorites. I also really, really like Angel Dust. Um, that's one where it's like, I'm not going to use it for Butterfree because I'm sticking with happiness, but it is one where it's like, I'd like to see it on a Pokemon. I think probably a fairy type would fit it pretty well, but I think it's a good name. Now this one I think is kind of clever, Liberty, because like it, it goes off of the free thing, and it also kind of sounds like something like an enemy you would fight in Bayonetta, so that one I'm actually okay with. Uh, Monarch, we've already seen, Fluttershy, the less said about that the better. Alright, well here I can see some of the things, because I, I know for a fact I put Silky there, and then I guess I put Monarch thought I would have put Angel Dust, but I see the Re, and that's just... I don't even know why people put stuff like that. Mothra? I might work better with maybe Venomoth, maybe just an idea. Crazy thought. Mary's a thing. That's just a people name. I don't like it. Mitsu, I don't know what that means, so I don't like it. Alright, yeah, sometimes we're gonna come across Denny Sinnoh, and I actually kinda like this guy, cause... He comes up with a fair amount of suggestions, explains why, and usually his ideas aren't total crap. There are going to be some very terrible things in there, but there's usually at least one good one out of the pile. Unfortunately, this time though, all of his suggestions for Butterfree were crap. The, the best one out of them, I would say, would be Sweetie Pie, but that is something I would never in my life ever use. But, uh, and PewDiePie, absolutely never in my life. Like, a lot of these I don't 
care for, but there will be times where we stumble across Denny Sinnoh and he'll actually have suggestions that aren't total crap. So the spreadsheet was a bust, Denny was a bust, but we clicked on everything else and looked through everything else and proof that Nick Finder isn't always the last thing we end on. My personal choice, as I've said before, is happiness. That's the one I use, because I just think it works. Um, my favorites out of the ones we covered as well, though, Angel Dust is definitely one. Silky is definitely one. Liberty Works, I... I don't think Bronze Song would be, because that's just cheesy, but I guess you could do that one if you wanted to use a Liberty. And then Monarch, that was one I did have as a placeholder up until I found a better suggestion. But there you go, see? We've moved on to a Pokemon with actual good nickname ideas instead of things that are bad. So I actually have things I can say to you and recommend to you and say these are good nicknames. Congratulations, it took you to the fourth Pokemon to finally get some good nicknames. <laughs>